Hello, hello. Just a few days ago, I shared a fun tutorial for Divi for creating fixed uh, sticky header navigation. And today I have a free layout that you can use as a starting point. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to import and customize it. Hi, my name is Anya and my goal here is to help you build beautiful websites. So I do have a nice freebie for uh, your Divi projects. Uh, let me um, share my screen. So here's the demo page for that sticky header navigation. Um, as you can see, the top nav, uh, white logo and white links are overlapping the image in the background in the first section. And then as I scroll down, the section becomes um, white. Uh, it is fixed at the top the logo image changes, the links are changing the colors as well. So I would like to show you how to import this top header section to uh, your site. Um, I have on my demo page, I have the same exact uh, page layout uh, ready without any uh, navigation uh, for now. So if you would like to implement uh, this globally, you do have to account for that top header, top navigation being here make room with some padding, make sure the background uh, matches the color of the navigation. If you're using white, the background needs to be dark or other way around. Uh, so you can use it globally, but you can also assign it to one specific page only. Maybe just on the home page, you would like to have that effect and then use a different type of navigation elsewhere. So we can do that through the theme builder. I will assign that navigation uh, layout to that specific page and for that I have to create a new template, um, add a new template, build new template, and then specific page. My page is called sticky transparent header, create template. And now uh, I will add custom header. And then once inside the, um, the builder, build custom header, once inside here, from there, I will import the JSON file, which you can download from our Divi Lover blog. So here uh, at, uh, inside our menu, we have the import function. In the uh, import tab, you can click to select the JSON file. I have it opened uh, right here. So you do want to locate the sticky uh, header uh, theme builder layout JSON file. And then I can just drag it right here. I will uh, keep the option to replace existing content uh, enabled. I don't want that empty section at the top. And then just click import uh, DV Builder layout. It will uh, take a moment to load onto the page. And now it's right here, although we may have trouble seeing it because it's white on white background. I will uh, save that uh, template for just a moment. And just to sh uh, show you, um, we do have to close it and save changes in the theme builder so that it that new template uh, takes effect. And now I can refresh my page uh, here. It will show me that uh, navigation. So just Side note, it is kind of easier to uh, play with that from the front end. If you enable the builder here, if you have the, uh, the option to um, work and edit uh, your footer and header templates from the builder enabled, uh, by the way, that option is located here in the builder settings. Um, we have theme builder template editing setting uh, at the bottom here. Uh, so if you have that enabled, you should be able to edit your header template from the actual page. And in this case, it just makes it much, much easier to, to see the changes and to see uh, what to, you know, how to customize it. So initially we just have, uh, and to show you from, from here, uh, from wireframe mode, we have just a menu module and an image module. An image module is that second logo that appears only when the section becomes sticky. So to change the logo, you have to edit it both in the menu settings, the logo will be assigned here and also replace the image for the logo version that should appear 
uh, on top of the sticky navigation. Mm. Now there is one bit of CSS involved as I explained in the walkthrough that you uh, can watch uh, as well. Mm. I've placed that CSS code in the section settings, advanced custom CSS. So right here we have um, we are targeting the main area with the page content and adding a negative margin, negative top margin to it with different value for desktop and different for tablet and phones. So this is the only place you may need to customize if you decide to change anything. If you increase the spacing or change the logo size, uh, you will need to um, check what is the size of your section, what's the height of the section for desktop and for mobiles, and then replace these uh, pixel values right here. And that's basically it. Um, I hope this layout will be a nice starting point um, and you can you know, use and customize it for your own project. It seems pretty straightforward thing to do, but it's actually not as straightforward. But with this uh, starter um, template, uh, it should uh, be much easier. Um, so yeah, that's it from me for today. Thanks so much uh, for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to get in touch. As always, uh, thank you uh, and see you next time.